Oligodendroglioma's are brain tumors that are primarily found in adults. And, as the name suggests, they arise from, you guessed it, oligodendrocytes. In this video, we'll give you a quick visual mnemonic to learn and remember all of the facts related to this brain tumor. So put your coats on, because we're headed to the Arctic this time. <sighs> Brr, it's freezing out here, right? Why don't you join me by my igloo? Yeah, that's my igloo. By the way, igloos make me think of oligodendrogliomas. Why, you ask? Well, it's because igloo sounds a lot like oligo. Get it? Igloo dendroglioma? The prefix oligo also helps me remember that oligodendrogliomas originate from oligodendrocytes. By the way, an oligodendrocyte is a type of glial cell. You know, the cells that make myelin. Anyway, this igloo dendroglioma is the visual anchor for our scene, which should help you remember both the tumor, oligodendroglioma, as well as its cell origin, oligodendrocytes. So sit here and warm up by the igloo, and I'll tell you a bedtime story about oligodendrogliomas. But before that, take a look at the night sky. Yes, yes, it's getting late, and this night should make you think of adulthood. You see, daytime scenes are our symbol for childhood, while the night that follows is our symbol for adulthood. You know, because children are like the morning, brimming with excitement, full of possibilities, and adults are, well, you know. The day has been going on for longer. You might even say that the day is older. Well, it's already dark out, which should help you remember that an oligodendroglioma is a tumor primarily found in adults. I mean, I wouldn't be telling a traveler like yourself a bedtime story around the fire if it was the day. Duh. Okay, okay, where were we? By now, you're probably wondering why we're sitting outside of this igloo instead of inside of it. Well, you see, I haven't quite finished building the igloo yet. Specifically, the back of the igloo is completely open. I really focused on getting the front completed for appearances. The focus on the front here helps me remember that oligodendrogliomas are usually found in the frontal lobes. Get it? The front of this igloo for the frontal lobes of the brain. This is useful clinically because the location of a tumor can be determined on imaging like an MRI scan. Just remember that you should be looking in the frontal lobes for oligodendrogliomas, got it? Alright traveler, tell me again where you're traveling to. You know, if it's really far, tomorrow you can even borrow my snowshoes. You see that red pair over there? I built them out of chicken wire the other day. Yep, chicken wire. It's perfect for making snowshoes, trust me. This pair of red chicken wire snowshoes should help you remember the chicken wire capillary pattern that is seen on biopsy of oligodendrogliomas. You see, when you take a sample of oligodendrogliomas and look at them under the microscope, you can see all of these delicate branching red lines, which are actually small blood vessels called capillaries. The pattern looks like chicken wire, which is exactly why we call these chicken wire capillaries. This is a key buzzword that you should know, so just remember my snowshoes, okay? Now, with all your traveling, you must also be pretty hungry, right? Well, guess what? I have just the thing for a cold day like this. A fried egg. Yeah, just fry that egg up, right there on the fire. By the way, did I ever tell you how fried eggs remind me of the cellular appearance of oligodendrogliomas? You see, in addition to having a chicken wire capillary pattern, the tumor cells themselves look a lot like fried eggs. Here's the same biopsy slide. If this nucleus is a yolk, then the clear cytoplasm around it could be the egg white, right? By the way, this cytoplasm is clear because of its high fat content since fat has a clear vacuolar appearance on biopsies. This high fat content should make sense for oligodendrogliomas, since the tumor originates from oligodendrocytes. And recall, oligodendrocytes make myelin, a fatty sheath for neurons. Anyways, just remember this fried egg here to remember the biopsy appearance of oligodendrogliomas. Wait, why are you giving me that weird look for? My ice cream? Yeah, even folks here in the Arctic enjoy a bit of ice cream here and there. I only trust Kelsey Yum brand, by the way. Well, it's normally creamy, but when it's really cold out like this, it sort of solidifies more than normal and becomes really hard and icy. If you recall from our previous videos, Kelsey Yum ice cream is a recurring symbol for calcium. Well, I'm eating it here to help you remember that oligodendrocytes are often calcified. That's right. Since it's so cold, my Kelsey Yum ice cream basically freezes and becomes a calcification. Clinically, this calcium deposition only matters because of imaging. You see, calcium deposits appear bright on CT scans. So, on CTs of the brain, oligodendrocytes will often light up due to the calcifications. Just remember my calcium ice cream here, 
and you'll remember to look for calcifications in oligodendrogliomas. Alrighty, that's it for oligodendrogliomas. Were you even paying attention? No. Ah, don't worry, here's the quick version. An oligodendroglioma is a brain tumor originating from oligodendrocytes. Primarily found in adults, these tumors have a predisposition for the frontal lobes of the brain. Specific biopsy findings to watch out for are chicken wire capillaries and fried egg appearing cells. Lastly, these tumors are often calcified, which makes them appear bright on CT scans of the head. Alright, I hope you got all of that for now. <sighs> so I'm starting to get a little tired. Next, a story about how I went drinking with a polar bear. Well, may maybe I'll leave that for tomorrow. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.